This week on Sport Fishing, we're up in Northern California fishing out of Emeryville. And today we're aboard the Sea Wolf. Sport Fisher operates out of here every day. Right now we're at the Fairline Island. And what we're going to do right now is just stop, pick up some bait. Then afterwards, we're going to use that bait at the island looking for big rock fish and lake time. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. catching these for bait. We're not catching these in teeth to take home. What we want to do is use these to catch bigger rockfish and the lingcod. And the reason that we use the sand dabs is if you use an anchovy down deep, all you're going to catch every catch is going to be a rockfish. We use the sand dab, and these are really too wide for the smaller rockfish to bite, but they're perfect for the lingcod to bite. So they work out really good for good bait for the bottom for the lingcod. Go ahead and take this guy off. Put them here in the bait well where we got all the other ones. You can see all the bait we have in here. These are all sand dabs that we are going to use for bait over at the Fairmont Islands for link cod. And we're actually catching some live mackerel here too. These were just caught right here outside the Fairmont Islands. This one can get to fry up. Sand dabs are good eating. That's a nice big one right there. My first one here. Hi, Mom. There you go. Another little one. Got a double. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Now you gotta go get a big one. Go get a big link cut. Absolutely. Two nice friends. Up the sea wolf. Oh, Fish 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 out. Fish 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 with Dan Hernandez. One of the nice things about fishing up here is we're in shallow water, only 100 feet of water. They can fish the lighter gear. Got 20 pound test line, level wine reel, seven foot rod. 
and fishing the two half ounce B52 bucktails right on the bottom with bait on them. So I'm just working it right on the bottom. And I really like to use the bucktails when I'm rock fishing. That way if the fish does take the bait off it, that bucktail, you know, moving in the, in the water and the current is still going to attract fish. If I had a straight hook on there and they pull the bait off, there's nothing to attract the fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep winding this up. See what we got. Hopefully we have a nice rock fish here. Feel something pulling on there. See what I got. There's color. Oh, it looks like a canary maybe. Oh, it's a red snapper. Nice one. Okay, so we'll bring this up. Beautiful red snapper, vermilion is a technical name for it. We like to call them red snappers in Southern California. See what it ate, B-52 bucktail. Beautiful fish there. Vermilion rockfish, sometimes called red rockfish or red snapper, is one of the prized rockfish in Southern California. They live in a wide range as far south as Baja, California, Mexico, and north to Vancouver Island in Canada. They can be found in rocky bottom depths from 100 to 500 feet deep. They'll eat just about anything, including squids, shrimps, and other fishes. Oh, 25 pounds. Nice vermilion out here by the Farallon Islands. This is my first nice fish today. Here comes mine right here, color. Got a double. I know what this one is. What's that one? Is that a. Oh, that's a little red snapper. Oh, canary? Alright, so we have to let that one go. So that's a canary. We're going to release that one. Here's a little rock fish I can keep. See what I caught on B52 bucktail. It's uh, pro bait seasonings. And I just have that on my line down on the bottom. And then fishing with two bucktails. All right, we're taking a little break from the action here aboard the Sea Wolf. And let's go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's show. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing up here in Northern California. Now we're looking for rockfish, and for rockfish there's lots of different ways to catch them. And as you're going to see in this week's episode, we're using some big baits, trying to get those lean cod using sand dabs. And for that, you have to use a big hook too. So make sure you have some bigger hooks, 3-0s and 4-0s, for pinning on those sand dabs. Another way you can fish too is the double dropper loop rigs. And for that, I like to use a bucktail, B-52 bucktail, put on a strip of squid, works really good, and uh, just hit it all the way to the bottom, and then bring it up and just slowly move it. You don't want to grind it or anything, you just want to slowly move it off the bottom, and that bucktail is going to flutter in the current, and it's going to attract the fish. The reason I like to use a bucktail over a straight hook on the dropper loops is if the bait comes off, you still have this action from the bucktail, and you're going to catch those fish. When you're using those big baits, though, like the sand dabs for those big lean cods, you want to go with a big strong hook. A two or three X strong hook is perfect in that situation. Now if you want to just target the lean cod, another good way too is to use a metal jig. You want to use an eight or 10 ounce depending on the depth, but as you're going to see in this week's episode, some of the spots we fish are rather shallow, so you can get away fishing a much lighter jig. So make sure you bring your magic metals. You have anywhere from four and a half up to 10 ounces. And depending on the depth that the skipper puts you in, that's the size jig you're gonna use. You wanna use the lightest jig you can, but you know, if you're down there at 200, 300 feet, you gotta go with the 10 ounces. If you're under 100 feet, 
go up to four and a half and you'll catch plenty of fish. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. system there on top and then two bucktails and I got this one a little a little rockfish a little small I'll let them go this guy's got some food in him what's he eating oh he's eating a rockfish another rockfish let him go and here's a nicer rockfish I caught him with one of those sand dabs that we were using for catching for bait a little while ago before we got here. That's a bucktail with a sand dab. Nice legal fish. A million rockfish catching paralons. I love it. You excited, Mason? Yeah. On your first keeper on your new rod? Yeah. Second. Oh. Second keeper. Oh. Nice little rockfish out here with the Farallon Island, Northern California. Okay, just fishing that rig with the little chum around the bottom. And I got bit on the bucktail. Let's see what I got here, just winding it up. Skipper just made a short little move. So close to the island. Here comes my fish right here. Deep color. There it comes up. There's that B-52 bucktail. There's a legal rockfish. And again, just using that seasoning chum, pro chum. Nice big quality fish, just like that. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and when we return, we'll be back here aboard the Sea Wolf. So we're still fishing the same area, the east side of the Farallon Islands, just making slow drifts. And the weather's really improved a lot. Winds died way down. And being on the lee side, it's a lot more comfortable, able to get away of the swell and from all the other wind. So I'm just fishing 20 pound test line. Uh, you know, we're in shallow water, really, for this type of fishing, only 150 feet of water. And we've been as shallow as 100 feet. So I just have one bucktail down there with some bait pinned on it. And see what we got. Had a nice little bite. So there. up as a little chummer to attract the fish. And this is the, the pro bait seasonings, find it in the local stores, and then that's the fish right there. 
All right, let's take a little break from the action, and when we return, we're going to be at the galley, and we're going to show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish that we're catching here at the Fairline Islands aboard the Seawolf. We'll be right back. This week in the galley, we're in Whittier, California at Portsmouth, and standing next to me is Chef Julio. Hey, Julio, thanks for inviting us over. Nice to have you here, Dan. So what do you have in store for us today? Today we'll be uh, doing a demo on fish and chips. We'll be cooking a uh, local lean cod. Lean cod is a uh, great fish to fry. How do we get started? So first, come over here to the fryer. The fryer is at 350 degrees. So this is our dredge, which is just AP flour. Just flour, that's it, that's it, that's all it is. First we get our fish, dredge it, make sure it's coated in um, flour, really good. Helps keep the moisture inside the fish when you fry it, and it makes it crispy too. So next step what we do is get our batter, basic, basic batter, uh, water, uh, yeast, flour, spices. Some of your local spices you like to use? We do uh, Obe, oh, uh, New Orleans spice. Drop the basket into the fryer. Oil's super hot, so be careful, you might burn yourself. What you do is, uh, you do not ever just drop the fish and chip in there. First you put it in the batter, take some of the batter off, and you slowly drop it in. Keep repeating this with the rest of your fish batons. Our uh, fish and chips here come with french fries. Um, our fish and chips are almost done, so I'm gonna get my french fries and toss them in salt and black pepper. Toss your french fries in salt, black pepper, into the bowl. Now we got Beautiful, crispy, golden fish and chips, not stuck together, perfectly batons. Put it in the bowl. That looks really good. Yeah, so this is our port's mouth fish and chips with tartar sauce, ketchup, and lemon wedges. So the ketchup isn't for the fish, right? No. It's just for the fries? It's whatever you want, man. <laughs> well, I gotta try some of this. This looks really good. Thanks. And ling cod, I haven't had fish and chips with ling cod before. You say it's really good fish for frying? Yes, it is. That is super delicious. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks for having us here, Julio. It was a great dish. Again, we're at Fort's Mouth, Whittier, California. Great Lincoln dish. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Nice link tie. Absolutely. Here's my link cut. This is what we're trying to catch using a one pound sinker, five watt mustad hook, and using a whole sand dab for bait. And what it's doing is just drifting a bait like these. There's a big sand dab here. And it looks like a big bait, but compared to lean cut, it's really not that big. That's what I was trying to catch. It's a 
a nice fish. All right, we're going to take a break from fishing out here at the Fairland Islands for the Sea Wolf. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Did you know that a lean cod can grow to weigh over 80 pounds, 40 pounds, or 20 pounds? That's right, a lean cod can grow up to be 80 pounds and more. For this week's tip of the week, John and I will be giving it to you. Hey John, what would you suggest for people as a tip when they come fish up your out of I would say be open to change. If what you're using isn't working, be willing to listen to the crew, be willing to change up any tackle. Don't use the same thing all day long and not catch anything. And one thing I would like to tell you is if you've never ever been up to the Bay Area, never been up here by the Golden Gate Bridge, and fished out of Emeryville, you should come up here. There's so much variety of fishing you can do. Everything from halibut and stripers inside the bay to salmon and albacore offshore. And like what we did today at the Caroline Islands, fishing for rockfish and link cod. It's just lots of fun. There's so much to do here. All day is a blast. So it's fun. Keeping you busy all day long. Well, thanks, John. Thanks right. for taking some. And how can people find you? Uh, Emeryville Sport Fishing Center at 510-654-6040 or at emeryvillesportfishing.com. And you guys are on Facebook too. On Facebook at cool. Emeryville Sport Fishing Center. Well, I want to thank John and all the crew here aboard the Sea Wolf. We had a great time fishing with them today. All our clients coming out with us had a great time too. If you'd like to join us, go to our website at sport-fishing.com. All our trips are listed there. And every September, we're up here fishing out of Emeryville. Be fishing with John, fishing with his brother, and then you have been some other days too. So come on up and join us. It's lots of fun. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Thanks a lot. All right.